Hello and welcome today to a really interesting video. Uh, it's a little walk really, it shouldn't take us longer than about an hour. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit less, we don't know. And today I'm graced with Kay breathing in the background and Mrs Lightworker. And Bright Grills as well, who uh, is famous because he did a video with me on the Grain Dummy Battery. The uh, link will be in the description below for you to check him out. He does loads of walks and camping and stuff. And we're I've taking one taking Bri out for a history lesson today, haven't we, Bri? Absolutely. There we go. A bit of history. Yeah, a little bit of history today. So these are the Medway Megaliths, and the idea is that we're going to go through. We're going to walk four of them. We started on this one because we were trying to figure out which way to go around, and we decided to do this one because obviously, either way, you're going to have to be walking potentially across the main road or whatever one you start at. So we're going to start in here, which is Little Kit's Cotty. Then we're going to walk behind to do the coffin stones, walking up to go to Kit's Cotty or Kit's Cotty House, and then we're going, <laughs> lovely, uh, and then walking right the way around to the White Horse Stone, which is going to be an interesting one to get to. So that is it for today. That's our history lesson, and uh, it should be pretty fun. So we're starting here, Little Kit's Cotty. You know the deal because I've done a video on it. Every single one we've done today, we've done videos on, so you can check out individually on these ones. We're not really going to worry about the history. As you know, these are particularly called the Count of Stones. Why are they called the Count of Stones, Kay Breeden? Don't oh, walk away from the camera. Sorry. <laughs> Why are they called the Count of Stones? Because we can't count them. <laughs> and what's the folk tale? That a baker left. She does know. Twelve. X amount of buns. X would you say? Of buns. 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 <laughs> Loaves. Buns. Um, here, but then every time, yeah, he counted, there was a different number. There you go. Folk and more. we have done the same. We have been that baker. Oh. oh. <laughs> Apart from tripping over. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there's Bri over there. He's going to be filming as well. So, we um, we didn't want to film the walk yeah, down. Because it <laughs> didn't want to film the walk down. It's a little bit sort of treacherous, as you probably know. It's on Bluebell Hill. And here we are. So, you know, you know the deal, don't you? So, Bri, we said today this is going to be your history lesson for today. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and Dan just tripped. Just tripped as well. <laughs> just, That's what the trip cam. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think of this place so far, Bri? Oh uh, well. It's. I mean, it is what it is. It's labelled as a house, but I think they've oversold that a little bit. <laughs> I think they're. Um, I think they're milking that a little bit. Uh, Dan was saying it was a baker that used to live here. Well, a baker came here, a baker came here, and then he put some loaves of bread out. And the idea was out. that uh, when he put them out, the original number, it wasn't the same number that he got back. So there you go. Very bizarre. That's why they call it the Count of Stones. We can never really count them. <laughs> Photo bomb there. Photo bomb. Um, so yeah, it's cool. I mean, like I said, we, we're saying like we're doing the Medway Megalith thing, and that's it today, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. there you go. Having a having a walk around, getting Eat. outside. In Kay's case, falling over rabbit holes. Did it again then. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Must have Eccles down there that's there. it, yeah, that is it. Yeah, so Eccles, Eccles is on. Uh, Eccles is. Well, Aylesford's there basically. So if you carry on walking down Aylesford, and then you've got Eccles to the right, it'll be. I that's think. where the world's smallest uh, dual carriageway is down there. Isn't really? It? Yeah. Oh, I never Because you've got the bit, you've got the high bit and the low bit. Oh yeah. And it counts as a dual carriageway. Apparently. That's crazy. Yeah. Learn, learn. See, I'm learning as well. Every day is a learning experience. <laughs> yes, Every right. Day. <laughs> Every day is something to learn. So, as we're facing, this is where we're going to go out. So, basically, opposite us, or just down the road, there's a little bit of a pathway road. Opposite that is a footpath that we're going to walk across. And I'll take this to our coffin stone. I think I'll left. And that's number two. So, Brian's going to take a photo. We're going to say goodbye for the moment. Bye, 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 and we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Hello. So, we are here. We are at the Coffin Stone. If you check out Brian's video, you'll understand that we just had a massive moan fest about, you know, unless you've filmed it, can't document it, can't claim it as your own, obviously. And um, yeah, Coffin Stone, so you know this one. Um, I've posted this one up before. There's all the others. It's number two on our Medway Megaliths little walk that we're doing, tiny little walk. Um, it's quite nice actually because since the last video, um, 
cleaned up a little bit, but that's only because it's been in the time and everything sort of gone to pieces. Covered in stone, as you know, famous because it was discovered by farmers, some skeletal remains underneath one of these stones. They called it the Coven Stone. It's not necessarily proven that these stones originally were here, they could have been moved from another previous site, um, but yeah, amazing in its own right. Um, I'm afraid the last time I was actually here was probably the time that I filmed it, because you know, I'm busy these days, been a YouTube celebrity. Um, there are those two over there just discussing life. Yeah, like you don't genuinely look. If you move the stone, yeah. Yeah. It's quite an eternal curse, isn't it? Or if it was your job to move the stone. <laughs> One of them ones that Kay can't sort of take any salvage from. <laughs> Kay's, Kay's a bit of a collector. So, um, not in a bad way. She'll take stuff that obviously. <laughs> she'll take stuff from <laughs> sites we've been to that you don't necessarily need. Bit yeah, yeah, like a, like a lead just pipe. Like a bit of metal or a cog Who needs or that? I took a gear wheel last time. A gear time. wheel, that was a good yeah. one. A bit of pipe. Gas Obviously pipe not. In. Not from a gear wheel that was actually currently functioning. By the way, again, we don't want to sort of no, just sort of say we're demolishing. Dig it. Yeah. I did have to dig. I actually dig it. Didn't dig too much. I found one of these. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what's your review, Bryce? Sorry. It's, it's just bizarre to think that in the middle of this orchard, there's a, an old burial site. Yeah. And there's. I don't know what these apples or something, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I can't remember what they are now, yeah. And they're all arranged in neat rows. <laughs> until and then you, you get, get to, to that. Form a burial <laughs> and then it's, I would just just work around. I know, yeah. Stop there <laughs> and just. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, though, because it's a nice. I mean, like, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a genuinely nice walk when you sort of get. We've got to go to Kit's Cotty now, which is um, up and over so we've got to, we're trying to well, we're going to try to figure out how to do that for today we can walk right up there there's a footpath over there and i think the field is yonder and over there and then white horse stone is over there so we, we're sort of on the edge now and we're sort of going to start backtracking a little bit but we've got to go uphill now which i'm not a fan of hills and i'm sure Bry isn't either uh no it's, it's all right i'm from wales you see <laughs> everywhere it's uphill. Everywhere's <laughs> You go to the shop, it's uphill. It's, it's uphill. Yeah. Right, it's and this is Kay's first time here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. First, first time. First time she's a virgin on this I'm one. Virgin. She's, she's, a, she's a coffin virgin. stone virgin. Sounds so dodge. Um, <laughs> yeah, it does sound dodge. <laughs> it sounds like a gothic cult. Do you know what I mean? Sacrifice. All right. It wasn't where I'm my mind was going. Well, okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> 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 on that note, <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Breeden. Hi. Dang it, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. There's Bryce, she's about to film. We are obviously at Kit's Cottage. Um, taking us a while because we, the way that we came was finger of doom behind those tree nine. Um, there is the, what was it, Bryce, saying the world's smallest? The world's smallest dual carriageway. World's smallest dual carriageway, which I didn't know about. As you come up from, uh, from Eccles, as you come out of Eccles, turn right and you get to a bit and the traffic going up has to go to the high bit and the traffic going coming down goes to the low bit something well low bit anyway so it's it's, anyway yeah bit. right hope and um yeah so we walked up and then we've come up here from the hill so it sort of dips down and kind of come up and then we are here <laughs> i've not done walking <laughs> I haven't done walking in a while, and as you know, I don't like walking yes. really. Very unhealthy, and um, it's exercise, which I will soon destroy when I go out for a meal later with some friends, which is all good. Stop photo bombing! <laughs> on a mission today. This is Kitsko, if you didn't know already. Um, we recently did a video on Kitsko folklore, which is a really interesting story that was one of Kay's videos. We also filmed it before because it is part of the Dolomon site, so it's harmless, which means that if I was standing out here, it would have been a massive burial ground and that would have been the entrance to it. Loads of spiritual stuff around here. I don't really, like I said, the purpose of today was not to really tell you about the history side of things because you probably know most of it anyway. And if in doubt, come here yourself, read the signs. Yeah. And you've also got a couple of videos. Already. Couple, I've already said that. Yeah, don't oh, worry about okay. it. Sorted. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a fascinating place, fascinating view. Um, over there is the infamous Burham and Finger of Doom. So that's Bluebell Hill Viewpoint, believe it or not, that patch of grass. Finger of Doom again, there. That's Bluebell Hill Viewpoint that spans all over this magical and wonderful place. So, yeah. 
it's an just incredible walk round because just to sort of get everything in order. So this is our third one. We've only got one more to do now. <laughs> so this kid's got your house. Let's try and film you in there. Oh, there you go. Got a rectangular stone barrel, which we said before. So if you were facing outwards, this would have gone and finger of doom would have been a mound. Like Trosley Round Barrow, Trosley Long Barrow, exactly the same. Amazing, isn't it? And for him, it was probably his best lot of camera work. Normally, going forward, the camera's all like shaking all over. Oh, all the <laughs> she says, and falls over. But I yeah, did a really no, good job. His best lot of camera work. What do you think, Bri? It's quite good, isn't it? This I'll one's just, nice. I was just saying, it's a shame it's got to be surrounded by this wrought iron fence. I know, yeah. To stop the people that are deprived of crayons at home. Exactly, from ruining it, as we know. From coming up here and messing it up. But the thing with this was, like, I was sort of saying, okay, do you want to take... Because I know you've not done any camera work today. Oh, okay, sorry. Is that my break? <laughs> my break's over! Back to work. So, yeah. <laughs> so, behind us, what would have happened was there would have been a massive brass mound. And it would have been huge, and it would have probably stretched out quite far, and then you would have had stones to attack it. But that would have been the main entrance point of it, so it's very hard. And the reason why it's all flat now is due to farming. Farmers came here and eventually they wanted it flat so they could obviously agriculturalise. That's a lovely word, I suppose. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's some really old graffiti there. I mean, from like 1875. So even people oh, yeah. back then were graffitiing. I'd noticed that. There you go. Let's see if I can't zoom in. I mean, it's a wonderful place, like you said, but it's a shame, that obviously, there's a war on the fence. You know why? Yeah. Yeah, many a word for people like that. But, you know. Well, no, deprived of crayons, I think. Is a good I like that. You know, <laughs> I think I'm going to use crayons, that. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, but the thing is, I mean, like I said, you know, it's, it's. I think the thing with like all these places, it's very hard to imagine like what they were originally like. I mean, like I said, I always say with this place, if you ever go to Long Barrow in Trussey, it's almost exactly like that, where you that can sort of see stone. the capstone from it. And you can almost imagine it being like that, and that would have been the entrance would have come out here. And there's some wonderful, if you go and look on the to internet, there's some wonderful photos of like old drawings of it in medieval times where they actually sort of seen it slowly getting ploughed away. So, and then obviously, like we said before, the thing with most of these Medway megaliths, the the farmer would have taken some of the stones anyway, because obviously there would have been loads more of these stones, and he would have used them for using up for farming and probably would have broken them up and used them for walls yeah 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 Dry walls. Yeah, exactly yeah for like bits of wall and everything else so and the thing is they always say about the whole of medway anyway is that there would have been loads of these but because they've all been completely demolished or you know taken away by most of the farming because obviously it's, it's prime farming land and most of it around here used to be anyway and know? i don't suppose back in the 1800s they put much importance on no no exactly yeah historical i mean i don't think youtube was around then was it i don't think it was <laughs> no i'm pretty what, sure I wish, you know, it was myspace <laughs> was it my, <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> that's it i knew there was one of them yeah. um but yeah in the old steampunk days do you know what i mean um but yeah no it's, it's just crazy to sort of imagine that we know that there would have been more there would have been a the most amazing photo i ever found out if you look down there you can't see it I feel like a fucking tourist guy today. Yeah, you're doing quite a good job. Finger of doom. If you, do, if you look where the houses are from where like um, Walden is, sort of that side down, well, it's just Burrow, maybe that, those houses. If you follow that down, that's oh, right, if you follow that house in Ridgeway down and it dips down the hill, was it all going to that bridge? Yeah, Peter's Bridge. Yeah, on the right, Peter's Bridge, there was a massive, they found what they called a, a massive um, causeway. Used to the causeway was like, it a giant causeway? It, almost, yeah, Walden Causeway. It would have been it, and it, they, it was um, and it would have been from Ireland. Yeah, I got it. I could oh, get right, it. okay, yeah, no, all right. I just thought I'd. I just uh, thought, not in Kent. I just thought I'd chuck that in there. You know. <laughs> but they would have. They found like a. They found the remains of a hinge there, 
but not like this. They found the where the hole. They found the holes of where the stones would originally been in the posts. Yeah. So the post holes. Yeah, the post holes. They found them all down there. A couple of well, an archaeological team there. So you can imagine that. Well, Tony Robinson turned up. Didn't yeah, he? and he ruined everything. Uh, I like Tony Robinson though. Yeah. I just find him <laughs> offensive because he's got a very young girlfriend, a wife, isn't he? You're just jealous. You're just stuck jealous. with me. Yeah, it'll be all right for the moment. I'm older. I mean, <laughs> we all get old, Kate. Okay. Um, well, uh, I'm giving a historical lecture. Domestic, domestic breaking out now. <laughs> Stand back a bit. It's because right, you're a know. toy boy. I know, yeah. A few months younger. You ain't got a toy girl. It's old. Down there, yeah, you can imagine back in yonder days that there would have been like a little hen. So it's all, it's all and then like we said before, Walden. A uh, couple of barrow sites around there, so it's heavily prehistoric around here. You can understand why there's folk stories of Bluebell Hill there, because that is the tip. That's the top of Bluebell Hill there. Being haunted. Yeah, being haunted and everything. Yeah. If you believe in that stuff. Well. I've been to haunted places and I feel a lot, but I. Not there. Didn't feel anything up there. Never have done. No. We had a good walk around. We've done quite a few stories up there, and I don't ever feel anything there. But yeah. Nice place, nice place. Nice place, yeah. I'm very lucky to have the right to see it. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. Right, signing off on my one. See you the final one, White Horse Stone. Hey, hi everybody. Welcome. This is the White Horse Stone and um, of Bluebell Hill. Bry's over there just finishing off his explanation of it. Kay is gorgeously just sitting on the tree with a baseball cap on because she's gangster. And um, yeah, you know the story behind this. If you don't, please go onto my channel and find it. I won't put the link in. Just find it. Significance of the White Horse Stone, why we've got Kent and Victor, etc, etc. Amazing, isn't it? So, even though it's just a stone, it may look boring to some people. To me, cultural significance is amazing. Might have been part of a um, barrow site. We'll never know, I guess, is the thing. What do you think of it, Kay? First time you've ever been here? Very pretty. Very pretty. Yeah. So again, a, a bit louder. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> it's got a lot of yeah. energy. Yeah, it's emotional here actually. Yeah, it's quite sad. Yeah. It does, it does feel that way. It doesn't feel happy, it feels quite... Hmm. Makes you go, meh. Yeah, meh. Yeah. But I like the fact that... There's a wreath there, yeah, yeah look, finger of doom is quite well. Yeah. Like you say, you've got the, the rhythm there. Yeah. There's a lot of stones. Yeah, these are probably left over from the ploughed bit of field that's obviously gracing us behind. And um, yeah, this is the um, this is the final one of our Midway Megaliths little mini walk that we've done. Probably takes about an hour in total, maybe a little bit longer. This one. It is now quarter to twelve. Oh wow, a lot longer. But we've been chatting a lot, nearly two hours. We're slow though, and we've not done this for a while. Right there, comfortable? There's something really magical about this though, isn't there? I don't know why, you just walk up to it and you just, I know it's a stone for a lot of people, but to me, it's like, especially on a day like today, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? The light reflecting off of it, it's lovely. It's just, just the light peeking through. I know, yeah, look, you can see it through there without blinding people. What do you think of it then, Bri? All good? Yeah, it's all well. I'm just enjoying myself generally. You've done your, yeah, we've done our med. Bry's been exclusively invited into the Medway Megaliths Club now, which Absolutely. is obviously. Absolutely. And now I've videoed it. You video. That's it. You you are a part of it. Now that I've got it on film, you see. I'm there. I'm there. I'll definitely. It's just nice because it's easy to to sort of hike past it. So I do a lot of hiking around anyway, and it can mm. be quite easy to just get your head down. And just march on past it. Yeah. You know? And note note and to know that you can park somewhere within the vicinity where you're not really gonna you know what I mean. Not gonna be a pain in anyone. No, exactly. Place. You know, and it's just it's just a nice sort of feeling, you know, especially with the uh the hill in the background, the old iconic bluebell hill and I think yeah, it's just haunted nice haunted as we know. Haunted, very haunted. <laughs> <laughs> But we love the we love the stories that go around yeah, with it. I think that's the thing, isn't it? It is the urban legends. I think the energy's kind of been and gone with Bluebell Hill. Yeah. But we've had a nice little we've had a nice little walk. I mean, we can we could we probably could have made it a better we, we probably could have made it a better sort of circle around. Yeah, 
I've really I think enjoyed it. All right. Yeah. I've had a really good time it's just it's just on that main road though, isn't it? I mean, that's kind of unavoidable when you sort of go on that it's... main road to get down onto whatever one you want to do. It's kind of a bit. You have to. You probably have to sacrifice a little bit of that, and it is because a bit of where of a we live. Yeah. Where we live in this country is a very urbanised part now. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got the Channel Tunnel isn't... Rail Link just beyond with Case further back <laughs> in that direction, not right behind. Them, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, but you've got the Channel Tunnel Rail Link carved its way through the uh, motorways, your carriageways, and stuff. And you often add that the price you pay for. But it's things like this that you know that we want we want to have preserved. You know what I mean? And we want. You know, like I said, a lot. The thing that depresses me is when a lot of people sort of are going to turn around now and they're going to kind of say, "Oh, it's just a stone." What's it mean? Actually, they, that's a, if you go just check out my video on it. Check, type in White Horse Stone, and you'll see the true historical significance of it because it is massive. A couple I, of the things tied to the trees around the other side. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's some spiritual things that are tied behind the tree which you normally find on a barrow site. It means something to somebody. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, people have actually come here to purposely sort of, you know. I mean, there's some iconic. That is a this, for example, is a Norse. These are both Norse pagan symbols. Are they? Yeah, they are. Those are. Oh, my fingers in the way there. If you look at what right, uh, just right, right shoulder. What this? No, next. Oh, this. There. Someone's tried to scribble in it out. Hmm. And there's that, that as well. What? What's this thing there then? I do believe that is another. Well, it's a. Is that alright? <laughs> That might be, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm one of them people who, I, I used to, I used to have them uh, necklaces with the old symbols on and what yeah. they had certain meanings behind each one. But I, I, I... but they are definite. Those, those two are definite because people can have a look at those and they can read up. You can probably even go and Google everybody and just take a snapshot of this and figure out what they are. They are definitely what they are though. But um, yeah, it's just amazing, really. But. The White Horse Stone, so it's basically the significance of how, if you want a bullet point of how uh, Kent and Victor are White Horse, you know, one of the protagonists of it, and the Saxon warriors that the stone commemorates. The ancient Bungie tribe. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, that's a typical. Yeah, no, well, no, that's to say that the ancient Bungie tribe used to live here. <laughs> um, Everything's got significance. Everything has got a meaning. And, <laughs> and with this stone there in the background, maybe the ancient Bungie Actually, warriors. Oh, Kay's doing some research oh, as yeah. we go. That there. That, yeah. That's possession. Oh, there you go. So we're all going to be cursed yeah. now. I've touched that. Oh, well done, Bri. I put my finger in the little puddle around the other side. You may need to, you know, may need to sort of... Uh, this might be your last video. Yeah. So just you know, make this, it the best one. This might be the last one. You've <laughs> well, ever that's seen according me. to it. Unless you go back through the other videos I've done, then you can see. Yeah, it. and we do know Google is slightly wrong. Wrong. No, it Google is one hundred percent. Everything on Google is fully fact checked, and uh, which is why, like, it makes me laugh when I put videos up on my channel. I genuinely actually research stuff, and it doesn't necessarily mean that I go on Google. Because some people I think automatically assume, oh yeah, did you go on Google? No. I actually ask people. <laughs> like, I ask people, I do research on it. I used to have, the, I told you back in the day, I used to have them Kent Bygone books, if anybody remembers them. They're really cool. Documenting history, little little factual magazine things that used to come out. I used to love all that. And just common knowledge from people. I think that's the thing. Like I said, we, generations, we look down now and we sort of think to ourselves, oh, it's the common knowledge of people, folk telling. Unless it's, uh, unless we can get that digitally, yeah. People don't want to go into no, old exactly. churches and read books. Yeah. They just want to go on their laptops or their phones and just and get it digitally. I always say to people, like, worst case scenario, like when we went to Kids Cottage, just read the sign. Go there. Yeah. All the information's on the board. Just read it there. You don't have to, you know what I mean? Like, so. Right, well, this, anyway, we're going to we're gonna go over to the railway line, but this is the final one. So, Bri, all in all, good experience it's been a thoroughly enjoyable experience absolutely it's really cool get my camera up because and for Kay because she went to two that she'd never been to before the, the coffin stone and white horse stone today all good babe yeah i really enjoy myself apart from this one with making it feel very sad oh bless her oh, I'm oh. oh I'm not that. no let's film that <laughs> <laughs> anyway on that note you just ruined it <laughs> yeah
being miserable. There we were. Oh, you know. We're going to have to film a photo. We're going to have to. Yeah, we, we've had a great day. Yeah, we've had a great we day. Have. I've had a great day. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lovely time. I've had a lovely time. It's like a game show. Do you know what I've really liked about today, though? The sun has constantly followed us, like beaming down on yeah, every really nice. single got some stone. Really nice photos, actually. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to get another one just for the sake of it. So as always, yeah. check out Kay's channel. It'll be in the about section below Mrs. Lightworker. Out. Check out Bryce's channel. That'll be in my about section below. You know the score of how things are done. A fantastic day, whatever you're doing. And enjoy yourselves. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>